Hi guys, welcome back, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing the perimeter of Sierpinski's triangle. Sierpinski's triangle starts out as an equilateral triangle, and we're going to assume that each length of the equilateral triangle is one unit, and so the perimeter is three units. In the second stage here, we again have an equilateral triangle, but each of those unit lengths is split into two half unit lengths, and we've added three more half unit lengths here in the center. And so what we have is we have nine halves units as the perimeter of the triangle. And then for the next iteration, we have a similar thing where each of those half units are split into quarter units. And so what we have is those nine half units are split into 18 quarter units, and we've added three, six, nine more quarter units to that, and so we have 27 quarter units. We can recognize that this is nine halves times the previous term, and this term is nine halves times the previous term. And so we can say that the perimeter of Sierpinski's triangle uh, is equal to 3 times 3 halves to the n minus 1 power. And so in order to calculate the perimeter as we after we've done an infinite amount of iterations we'll take the limit of the perimeter as n approaches positive infinity of p sub n which is going to equal the limit as n approaches positive infinity of 3 times 3 halves to the n minus 1 power. And since 3 halves is greater than 1, the limit of 3 halves as n approaches infinity is going to be infinity, and therefore this is going to be infinity. And therefore, Sierpinski's triangle has an infinite perimeter.